So I've been interviewing Art on the two previous episodes about the new resource, phenomenal resource called the Eight Money Milestones. It is so much in my mind right now. I almost opened the podcast by saying, welcome to the Eight Money Milestones podcast. But this is the Church Answers podcast. The Eight Money Milestones is the new resource that will take the church by storm for the reasons. Well, you can go back and listen to the two previous episodes, plus this one to find out. I don't need to repeat everything that Art has said. So we want to thank our sponsor, Belay, Belay Solutions. They are the productivity experts. They're the ones that can get you a bookkeeper. They can get you an executive assistant, a webmaster, or others to do the work in your organization so you can do the work you need to be doing while they do the work that maybe you don't want to do. We want to thank Belay for being our all-time sponsor from the beginning to end. And you can get their new ebook called Four Costly Financial Mistakes for Churches by going to, well, text Tom, T-H-O-M, that's T-H-O-M, 555 one five 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 one two three. That's a hard one to remember. The three after the two. That's five 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 one two three. All right, welcome back to the Church Answers podcast. I know I've interviewed you on this this uh, podcast and on Rainer on leadership, but this I, I have to say this is probably the most exciting thing that I have talked to you about, and that I in many ways have been talking to church leaders about. And it's the new resource called the Eight Money Milestones. Once again, give us a quick overview for those who may be listening or watching this as a standalone podcast. Yeah, so the Eight Money Milestones program is a video-based program. It's a six-week pro program that walks a person through the, the Eight Money Milestones. I won't go through all those, but it starts with generosity and it ends with generosity. And then everything in between is there to protect or accelerate our ability to live and give more, more generously. The whole point of it is to help people get financially healthy for the sake of advancing God's kingdom. I, it's something that I've been working on for a really, really long time. The Eight Money Milestones, you may actually already be familiar with, with those if you follow anything that I, that I do. I've been talking about them since 2017. And Amazing. so I, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to, to have this program out and pray that it will um, impact the the church and the kingdom in a significant way. I pray too that it will impact marriages, which will impact the church and the kingdom yep. in a significant way. Hey, before we go uh, further, you're going to be talking about marriages. So give, t tell us about your family. And I'm talking about your wife and three sons. You don't have to tell, you can talk about your mom, but you don't have to say anything about your dad, but your mm -hmm. wife and three sons. I have, an, I have an amazing family. I have an amazing dad and mom too. Um, Thank you. But I, so I, I have an, an incredible wife. Uh, her name's Sarah. Uh, she uh, just does phenomenal, phenomenal work with kids and uh, and and helping them with. So she's a she's a clinical psychologist. She has her own practice, Raleigh Kids. RaleighKids dot com is the is the website. Does Ooh, an we'll, put that, job. we'll put that in the show notes. Uh, I don't know what it'll come to, it, but that's. I know that she she's in high demand as a it's, it's kids incredible. psychologist. God yeah. is using her, and she she does she roots everything that she does uh, in scripture. And God is using her in an amazing way in our in our community. Uh, I have three boys, Nathaniel, Joshua, and James. Their ages are 13, 10, and 7, and they are awesome boys. They are very active boys. That's why we have them in sports year-round. We have to get that energy out. Yes. Um, but they are a, a tremendous, tremendous blessing to, to me and Sarah. Well, I love them all. Yes, you chose well with Sarah, and uh, both of you gave us three incredible grandsons, and you know, they're all alike in some ways, but they're all so different in they are. many ways as, as well. Just There's times where I'm wondering, did, are, are they growing up in the same household? Is that, I mean, it's just, un, but I know, I know most parents have that experience. We did. You know your brothers. Yeah. Y'all are alike in some ways, but you're really different in a lot of ways. All right, let's talk about the eight money milestones related this resource. And it goes into a church and they're not just learning about budgets. They're learning about God's plan for their money. They're learning about generosity, L starts with that, ends with that. But they're also learning about a healthy marriage. How does that all work together, Art? Yeah, well, uh, most of most of the listeners are familiar with uh, the, the statistics on marriage and, and money, right? Where uh, money issues are often pointed to as the number one or number two is one of the top reasons that a couple divorces. They're always looking at money and saying, that's the reason why. Now, of course, you could argue that there's some underlying issues that manifested them, themself, itself in the, their, their finances, but they're looking at money and saying, that's, that's the issue. Money seems to cause a lot of damage 
in, in marriages. But this is not God's design. This is not God's design for, for marriage. It's not God's design for money. He doesn't provide us with financial resources when we get married to blow up everything, right? There's a greater purpose for our marriages and for our, our monies. We look at our marriage. We know that God has designed us to be one. We see that in, in Genesis right from the beginning. Then, of course, Paul later, he 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 just he emphasizes the the depth of our oneness where our own bodies are not even even in our own. There are spouses. The most intimate thing that we have is not even our own in marriage. There's a oneness that needs to be there. And of course, if our own bodies are not even our own, then certainly our finances are not our own. It's not about my finances and and your finances. It's about our finances when we get when we get married. And the eight money milestones can help rally a couple around God's design for for, for money to leverage those resources for the advancement of his of his kingdom. They can find oneness in their 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 finances. So the eight money milestones can be a great program to help couples. So we've got the eight money milestones and you know, I hesitate to even call it a silver bullet because that's the wrong way to talk about it because it's not this magic solution. It's, it's, it's really God's plan for the money that belongs to him and how we steward it. And so a church gets this and a church is going to potentially see the benefit. This, this isn't the reason it's, it's to glorify God and to be obedient to him, but they can see the benefit in increased giving. They can see the benefit in healthier marriages. They can see the benefit above all that the members who go through this become closer to God, closer to Christ through this. Talk about that. You talked about it in the first episode, but talk about it one more time, how that's been your driving force of the eight money milestones. Yeah, from the from the very beginning, we, we said that we're not going to create a program that helps people get financially healthy just for the sake of financial health, just so that they can, you know, buy a new car. Not that I'm against cars or, you know, buy a bigger house. Not that I'm against houses. I have a house, but we are going to create a program where if they don't if they don't walk away thinking that they are closer to Jesus now after the six week program than when they started, then we failed. We've we failed with the, with the program because as you start aligning your finances with God's design, you're going to naturally find yourself in a closer walk with with him. It's 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 inevitable. And by the way, you, when you start aligning your finances with his design, you're going to find yourself more content, more satisfied, being a part of something much larger than yourself, being a part of a God orchestrated adventure. Why? Because, well, God's going to take those financial resources. And start leveraging them for the advancement of the kingdom. You're going to be a part of changing lives for all eternity. Why? Because you decided to take a step and get financially healthy, not for your own sake, but for the sake of advancing God's kingdom. Uh, just a reminder, too, Art is the founder and CEO of Christian Money Solutions. We have that in the show notes. You can go to ChristianMoneySolutions.com. But we're focusing upon this new resource, this new resource called the 8 Money Milestones. 8 Money Milestones, that's the number 8, MoneyMilestones.com, or you can click on it into the show notes. Before we go, Art, and with just about a minute left, talk to us about how this resource how you think it will be primarily used in what venue, what setting within a church. Yeah. So but before I answer that question, I want to uh, just connect it back to, to, to marriages. So when, when I meet with couples, I'm a Christian financial counselor and I'll meet with, with, with couples. It's amazing when I walk through their stories, how money impacted the, the, the themes that they heard growing up, the experiences that they had, had growing up and how that impacts them to this day. It is amazing how that happens. So if you are a married couple and maybe you have kids, remember how your childhood impacts you today. Your child's, um, what they experience right now with finances, what they hear you talk about, how they hear you communicate with your spouse about, about money will have a significant impact on the way they view and manage money 10, 20, 30 years from, from now. So whatever is going on when you're in your household finances. If you need to feel like you need to break a cycle, you get to do it. You mm. you get to do that. And part of that is learning. Okay, what is God's design for, with money for, or for money to begin with, and how can we rally around that design? The eight money milestones once again will help you do just that. That's one of the things I'm really really excited about the generational impact that this can that this could have on families. 
All right, tell us the setting for the churches. Yeah, so it typically it's going to be in a small group setting. That's what I would. That's what I recommend. Where you have your leader. There's a there's a leader version of this of this program. Then you have your attendee version of the program. So you're going to have that small group setting. Can a person do it on their own, or can they um, can they go through the eight money milestones with just their spouse? Absolutely, they can. But my encouragement is to get a community. Get a get a community that's going through this program together. That's where they're encouraging one another. They're celebrating successes, um, so that uh, they're going to feel m- more motivated and excited about going through it. So my encouragement to to churches is to use this in a small group type setting. Well, once again, that is the eight money milestones. If you did not listen or watch the previous two podcasts, go back because we have three on the eight money milestones. This is such an important research resource for the local church that I wanted to get it out in three times instead of instead of one. Eventually, we'll also have this resource at most likely at churchanswers.com. But the area that I want you to know where to go is eight money milestones.com. So check it out there. Art, thank you for being with us. Thank you. In, uh, Thanks in for my having love me. to my daughter-in-law and my three grandsons. I will do. Well, once again, thank you, Belay. That's belaysolutions.com for being our sponsor. Check out the Productivity Experts. Experts, You'll be glad that you did. And as always, thank you for being a viewer or a listener at the Church Answers Podcast. We'll see you in the next episode.